Hello friends, welcome back. I am Faraz and in today's video we are going to learn how to convert the data to Excel table with the active sheet name and all that stuff we are going to do with the help of the VBA. So let's go and see the things in action. If you haven't seen my previous video, we have learned that how to convert all the data into Excel table in an active workbook. So if you have missed out that video, feel free to check the link over here. Now to convert this data set into an Excel table with the sheet name, what we have over here, basically what happens when you say command T and let's say, okay. And you can see the table name is as table one. This is a default behavior whenever you convert your data into Excel table. But let's assume that you have a lot of tables and you would like to always convert your table name with the name of the sheet. So let's say I'll call this as student's name. Now with this name, we wanted to have that table, but there's no such kind of a standard feature which allows you to do that. So let's go and start regarding our macro. If your developer tab is not activated, make sure that you activate your developer tab. And now I'm using Excel for Mac. So I'm writing, going to write this VBA code on the Mac. So let's make sure that you click on the recorder or you can even go down and click on the recorder over here. Let's go and record our steps. So I will say that, okay, hey macro, and make sure that it is in this workbook. Let's say, okay, you keep on this cell, okay, and then go to insert and then table. And let's say, okay. Now we would like to go to our developer tab and stop the recording from here, or even you can click on the stop over here. So let's click stop over here. So now whatever the actions you will do from now onwards, it will not get recorded in the VPA recorder. So let me go and open my Visual Basic right now. So let me just go to Visual Basic. Okay, perfect. Now this is Visual Basic Editor. Now under the modules of this workbook, which is there, and we are going to open this module. There's a code automatically written by the macro recorder, but we need to tweak the code a little bit so that we can make it more dynamic. Now, as you can see over here, the list range add, uh, we want to make sure that it doesn't stay as a static one because it's going to go and refer it to the range A1 to B11. So that's, we don't need it. We can remove that add name and you can see it always gives the table name one uh, whenever you are signing it for the first time so here we are going to call the table name uh, let's say that we are going to say an active sheet you know because our active sheet name is student list so let me go and check in the immediate window which is over here uh, which is going to com command control command and g so that's how you can activate it so you got your immediate window activated and now here we are going to say, hey, active sheet dot name. Now, once I click on active sheet dot name, you can see that the students' names are being getting activated over here. And I'm sorry about that. But I just want to resize it so I can get it on one screen for you. Perfect. This looks good. Yeah, so student name. So let me rename this thing again to student list. And now when I'll go and check my recorder over here and let's this time enter and it's called student list. So this is a code, this is a piece of the code which we needed. So I can just copy from here and paste it over here. So that's perfect. So now I got my sheet name. Now, but the most important thing is a range now. So we want to make sure that it takes the current region and we want to make sure that it selects the current region, which is over here. Now application dot copy paste, we can just remove it, ignore it. And we can say, okay, just that's it. So if you see this code over here, this is a very simple one line code and you can give a name convert to table so let's go and test it out over here and let me do undo okay I'm just going to keep a copy of this copy and paste it over here and let's go and convert that so going to develop a tab macro 
and we are going to say this workbook convert to table run perfect so you got the name student list now if you want to copy this code and you don't want to write it all this code then on my website i have already written a blog and i'll be sharing the link in the below video description where you can go and simply just click on the copy and it will just copy the code now i have even added a validation in case if you try to go and create uh, or you're going to run the macro again let's say convert run you're going to get an error because table cannot overlap another table now to overcome this issue you can just simply we can copy this code from here and just paste it over here okay no issues and as you can see there's a validation which says that active sheet list object count is less than one if it is less than one then create a table or is uh, just ignore it out let me close this and it should work perfectly now run hey that's working fine you know so active worksheet successfully converted to excel table so that's all for today this is a very short trick video which you can use it and you can convert your data with the list name you know so you have to make sure that you always keep your data starting from cell a1 because if you see the code we are saying that starting from a1 so if it doesn't find anything in the a1 you know then it's not going to convert in fact it's going to convert but you're not going to get the result what you are expecting and that's all for today and one last thing that make sure that you save this file as a macro enable workbook which is xlsm format so the code what you have pasted on this workbook it remains in this workbook otherwise once you close this it's not going to save that one or if you like to use it globally this code then make sure that you save it in your personal macro workbook so now you know the drill, make sure that you hit the like button, share, subscribe and do let me know in the comment sections your thoughts about this video. And also, I would like to hear from you that if you have some better technique, better solution, I would love to hear from you. And do let me know that in the comment section. So signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh. See you soon. Take care. Bye.